Okay, let's continue on data visualization. Let's talk about stem and leaf plots. So we're not going to use stem and leaf plots a lot, but uh, I think it's still important to, if you see one, you could actually read and understand it. Um, histograms are really the better option, uh, but we can look at stem and leaf plots. So let's go to graphs. Let's go to stem and leaf display. And right, we're going to do the fuselage. And let's go to options and let's choose this repeated stems digits that's kind of going to be our standard one we'll leave the parts per stem as automatic and most of the time we we'll leave the leaf's digit as automatic and we just let it do what it's want but right now if it is checked we want to deselect it and then we can do our slider and set what the leaf's digit is at and we want to just set it at one and go ahead and click okay Okay, so now we can come down and look at this and we're like, oh goodness, what is this? Well, hey, this actually is kind of useful that we're able to see this distribution, this kind of bell, and we can see what the individual values are. So each of these steps are actually two. Um, so this first one is seven and, or I think it's six and seven. This one is eight and nine. This one is 10 and 11. So on the left-hand side, you have the tens digits. And then on the right hand side, we've got some ones digits. So we can see that, yes, six and seven are over here. There were no sixes, but there are sevens. Eight and nines were here, 10 and 11, 12 and 13, 14 and 15, 16 and 17. Anyhow, we're able to see these. The nice thing is, is we could go in and count. I could ask how many of these planes had seven shots to the fuselage. And you would be able to highlight and say, hey, there are two sevens here. There were two planes who had seven shots. Um, to the fuselage and we could do the same thing with 20 or 21 anyhow we could go through and we could see and actually count them out now it gets really kind of tricky when when you get a ton of data because you actually have, you have to put in a digit for every single one so scaling gets hard let me show you so let's go back to graphs let's go to stem and leaf display fuselage let's go to options this time let's do let's check on the leaf we'll do it automatically now click OK and now we just have every single unit right here and we, we just we record how many of each one that we get now this is 300 but imagine if we had like 10,000 data points it's way better to just go and use a histogram but that's how you would produce a stem and leaf plot uh, with our commander